In this video, we'll be looking, we'll be finishing up 5.1. So this is going to be 5.1.2. Naming angles and angle relationships. Part two. Our essential question will be what are the different types of angle relationships? Okay, so we're going to have, we have four different relationships we want to talk about. And those four relationships we'll just make kind of like a chart. And we're going to use the uh, same image for each. Um, relationships. So we'll just look at this image. So that's going to be the image that we're going to use um, when, as we define all these different relationships. And then we'll want to say that this is a right angle. Okay, that should be good. So the first um, one we want to talk about is vertical angles. Make our chart. So we'll have the name, definition, example. Okay, so the first name was vertical angles. Vertical angles share only a vertex and are across the vertex from each other. So that the, they're angles that share only a vertex and they're across the vertex from each other. So the only two angles that that works for is going to be this angle right here and this angle right here. They're across the vertex. I'm going to mark on this page these two angles in blue. They're across the vertex. They share the same vertex, B, X, A, E, X, F. They're across the vertex from each other, so they're on opposite sides of the vertex, and they share the same vertex. So we would say angle B, X, A, and angle F, X, E are vertical angles.
Next, we'll look at adjacent angles. And adjacent angles share a side and share the vertex. So there's lots of adjacent angles in here. All you need to do is share a side and a vertex. We could say A, X, B, and B, X, C are, are adjacent angles. So we're just going to list a few of them. We're not going to list all of them. We're going to say A, X, B, and A, X, B, and they need to share the same side and the vertex. So we can say A, X, B, and B, X, C. Are adjacent. We could also say CXE and EXF are adjacent. CXE, EXF are adjacent. They share a side, they're sharing this EX, and they share the vertex. We could sit there. I mean, there's so many different pairs of adjacent angles. We could say DXC and EXF are adjacent angles. So adjacent angles just have to share a side and a vertex. <clears throat> now, complementary and supplementary angles are very special adjacent angles. So next we'll do complementary. And these are adjacent angles, so it already has to share a side. So we're going to use that previous word, they're adjacent angles. that add to 90 degrees or create a right angle. So we need two angles that's sharing a side and a vertex. They're adjacent angles, so they share a side and they share a vertex. So we need two angles that share a side and share a vertex, and they also add to 90 degrees. Well, there's a lot less of those. So we'll look at, I see a 90 degree angle right here. So what two angles like kind of create that right angle? Well, I can say BXC and angle, so BXC, and then the other angle we'd need to create it. So we did BXC, and then to get this right angle, we'd also need CXD. So angle BXC and angle CXD are complementary. Like that. And then our last one is going to be supplementary. And supplementary angles are very similar to complementary. They're adjacent angles, so they're sharing a side. They're right next to each other. So they're adjacent angles that add to 180 degrees or create a straight angle. Remember that straight angle is just a line. So we need two angles that when you put them together, they can create a straight line. 
Well, there's a lot of different pairs that do this here. I mean, I have a straight line right here. So I can say A, X, B, and B, X, E. Those are two. So I can say angle A, X, B. So that's this angle right here. And then how do I create the straight line? Well, I have to combine it with B, X, E. Let's find a different pair. <clears throat> say we're trying to create this straight line right here. Well, we could say um, B, X, E, and E, X, F creates that, this line right here. So if I'm looking at B, X, F, I can say that angle B, X, E, and angle E, X, F creates that straight line. So we need both of these angles. But there's a lot of correct examples. So I'm doing angle B, X, E, and what else, what other angle helps me carry the straight line? Well, B, X, E, and E, X, F creates that straight line. Like so. And those are different angle relationships that we can talk about. So we have uh, vertical angles where they're across on opposite sides of a vertex from each other. We have adjacent angles where they share a side and share a vertex. We have complementary angles, those that sum to equal 90 or create a right angle. And then we have um, supplementary angles, which are also adjacent angles that create a straight line or add up to 180 degrees. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.